Hello guys, welcome to a new video. In this opportunity, we want to talk about the ballistic pendulum. The problem says a ballistic pendulum is a simple system for measuring the speed of a bullet. A bullet of mass MB makes a completely inelastic collision with a block of wood of mass MW, which is suspended like a pendulum. After the impact, the block swings up to a maximum height Y. In terms of Y, MB and MW, what is the initial speed V1 of the bullet? Okay guys, I have the illustration of this problem right here and I want to take into consideration what happens when the bullet gets into the block. So we analyze this problem in two stages before and after the collision, as is shown in the illustration. The first part is the embedding of the bullet in the block. So during this first part, the bullet embeds itself because it's moving with a velocity V1 from the left. But what happens is that this process is so fast. It is so fast that when the bullet gets in the block, the block doesn't move, okay? Doesn't move appreciately because this, this process is really fast. So we are considering that situation. Also, the supporting strings remains mainly vertically like this because the process when the bullet gets into the block is really fast we consider that the strings remain nearly vertical. So we have uh, horizontal forces that are neglected. They are ne negligible, okay? That means that we don't have horizontal forces on this part of the problem. Um, because of this, the momentum is conserved. We know that by definition, the momentum P is equal to the mass of the particle or of the system multiplying the velocity, okay? This quantity is conserved on this part of the problem. On the other hand, the mechanical energy is not conserved because when the bullet embeds in the block, some thermal energies changes inside the block, so the, the energy is not totally conserved on this part of the problem. Now we have the second part of the problem. On the second, in the second part of the problem, the block and the bullet move together. So they are already together. They move like a only body. And the only forces acting on this system are the gravity and the string tensions. So let's illustrate the gravity real quick here. The gravity, okay? And the tensions of the strings. Okay, so the gravity is a conservative force because the force due to the gravity makes the energy conserve on the problem. As the block swings, the mechanical energy is conserved, uh, conserved as well. So what's happening here? What is happening here is this. Uh, let me see here real fast. Let me. Right after the collision, 
right after the collision at the moment at that moment the system bullet block has a kinetic energy okay okay that's right after the collision because the system gets the velocity v2 so it gets a kinetic energy as well when the when the block when the system bullet block swings up the height y it comes to the rest for an instant at the height and at that point the kinetic energy is zero but the potential energy has a ball so the potential energy is v okay at that point all right so let's do the algebra of this problem to solve it okay oh another thing i want to take into consideration is that the momentum on this second part is not conserved because we have like start the uh, I re remember when I said that on this part we have the gravity acting downwards and the tensions on this of the string acting on this direction so they act on different directions they are pointing to different directions so they there is a net force on this part that means that the momentum is not conserved on this part of the problem, on this second part. But initially, the momentum before the collision and, be, and the momentum after the collision is a conserved quantity, okay? So let's say that by the conservation of the momentum, we have, by the conservation, We have total momentum before the collision is going to be equal to the total momentum after the collision. So if we come back to the illustration, we will have that the total momentum before the collision is P total 1 equal to the mass of the bullet multiplying the velocity of the bullet the block is at rest so it's not moving and it doesn't have any momentum right now we come to the second part of the problem and we say okay now the momentum of the system after the collision is P total 2 that is equal to the mass of the system but the mass of the system is the composition of the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the block multiplying the velocity that this system gets right after the collision when the bullet embeds in the block right at that moment the velocity is V2 so as a result we get a momentum defined by this equation okay the conservation of the momentum says that the total momentum after the collision is equal to the total momentum before the before the collision okay um, because we know that p1 p total 1 is equal to mb v1 and P total 2 is equal to MV plus MW V2. Then we can write this conservation equation like V MB V1 equal to MB plus MW V2. We clear V2. 
so we want to leave we want to leave v2 v2 alone by itself so doing that the part that is multiplying this velocity is going to go to divide the other side of the equation as a result we get mv dividing mv plus mw multiplying v1 let's call this equation oh sorry i want to do the other way i want to find i want to clear v1 sorry v1 equal to this part is going to go to divide on the other side mb plus mw dividing mb multiplying v2 let's call this equation equation number one let's highlight this equation real fast and let's go back to the from to the illustration and i will talk about something that i already talked but to make sure that we have that part clear let's come back at the beginning of the second part we know that the system gets the kinetic energy okay kinetic energy k okay because it gets the velocity v2 and i said that the system swings up and comes to the rest for an instant at the height h so it gets the potential energy v okay so at this point gets the potential energy v uh, v because it it gets a uh, height a y it swings up to a height y okay because of that situation we can use the conservation of energy on the second part of the system okay the kinetic energy by definition is k equal one half of the mass of the system multiplying the velocity squared okay but we know that the mass of the system on this second part is the composition of the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the block multiplying the velocity v2 okay um the potential energy is going to be by definition the mass of the system multiplying the gravity multiplying the height on this case the mass of the system as we know is the mass of the bullet multiply uh, plus the mass of the block multiplying the gravity multiplying the gra the height the conservation of, en of energy says that the energy before is equal the energy after and the energy before on the second part right after the collision is k the kinetic energy and the energy and the energy after when the block swings up to the hey y is the potential energy and is v so the kinetic energy is equal to the potential energy okay so we made two those two equations equal and we get then we get one half of the mass of the bullet is plus the mass of the block e multiplying the velocity to a square is equal to the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the block multiplying the gravity multiplying the height 
The masses, they cancel each other because they are equal. We cancel the, the, the masses. Um, as a result, we get that one half of the velocity V2 squared is equal to the gravity multiplying the height. Let's send this two to the other side of the equation. Then we get V2 squared is equal to two Y G. And if we take root square on both sides of the equation, we will get that V2 is equal to two G Y root square of this. Let's call this equation number two. Okay, guys. Let's call that equation number two. Now we do the same, this, the following step. Now we replace equation one into equation two. Okay. The other way around, sorry, it's the other way around. Equation two into equation one. Equation two is the root square of two y g. So let's get this equation into equation one. Okay. When we do that, we get V1 equal to MB plus and W dividing MB multiplying the root square of 2GY. And this is the velocity of the bullet in terms of the mass of the bullet, the mass of the block, as the problem is asking for, and the height, and the height y. We know that g is a constant, is the gravity, the acceleration of the gravity, and we know that quantity beforehand so this is the solution of the problem hopefully you like it please if you want give me a thumbs up if you want to subscribe to my channel you can do it and see you on the next video bye